Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my year long makeup empties for 2021. I kept them all, I kept them all. It is an addiction of something that I've been doing for the past few years, but I'm gonna go through and show you them close up of what I finished and then at the end I'll show you my totals. My goal every year is to finish, well so far it has been to finish 50 products in whatever shape that may be and I'm not too concerned on the monetary value because I want the product to be used up. It doesn't matter how much it costs because a bronzer I have maybe five euro and another bronzer maybe 30 euros. As long as I finish the bronzer, I'm happy. And I'm and most of my collection, uh, bar now foundations and eyeshadows, um, are not high end. So they're never, generally up until this point, have never been too expensive. So my goal is 50 products. So at the end, I'll give you what I ended up completing. So let's get on into it. foundations we finished this year let me just double check three I normally finish two to three foundations a year so I finished two Inglot ones and one Makeup Revolution one which I finished today so the two Inglot ones in the shade 79 and 76 76 I finished in February and 79 I finished in May and then December I would repurchase these. I wouldn't repurchase this because the shade is wrong for me. That was in F0.5, F for Frank. 26 mils or 35 in the two of these. This is a full coverage matte Ur foundation. It was kind of satiny. I probably would buy these again and in the shades that they were in because they were extremely reliable. However, they are expensive, but I did like them. So I hit my usual target. I think I finished two last year. I will link my year long thingy from last year underneath as well. But yeah, I finished roughly what I wanted to finish. So that is exciting. For concealers, I've marked down that I finished three and I'm counting this Lee's Watch Air sample because it took me so long. But this Lee's Watch Air sample I finished in March and it took me forever. And I actually quite liked the formula of this. And I got it from Elaine and it was a nice creamy formula, but I'd say it's thick, but it was creamy. What else? The L'Oreal Lumi I finished in January and this was too expensive for what it is. It's one of those ones that you twist. It was nice, but it was way too expensive. So even if you could get this again, I wouldn't. I believe it's a medium coverage um, with kind of a glowier finish and no, wouldn't buy it again. And then this one from Smashbox is also discontinued. I use this kind of as a concealing product. It came in a triple stick like a bronze a contour and a brightening but i ended up using it as like a spot concealer um i didn't think it was great to be honest i like the contour shade from smashbox so out of these uh, i wouldn't be repurchasing any there would be a potential for this these watch air one but no none of those for primers i have down that i finished five what was first? I finished this in June. This is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter, or sorry, First Light Priming Filter. It gave off a purple sheen to your skin. What is, how many mils were in here? 15 mils were in here or 0.5 fluid ounce. I, I quite liked it, is there anything left for you to see? I did like it, you can't get it anymore. It evened out the texture of your skin. To be honest, it was, a, it was glowy. If you could repurchase it, I probably, would but between this one and the backlight priming filter i prefer the backlight but this one is empty and i'm happy about it and i'm grateful i got to try it because i do like it and these were samples as well i find it hard to finish primers during the pandemic because i'm not going anywhere so what is the point this one i i just finished this is the mac prep and prime natural radiance base lumiere in radiant yellow I liked this. I think it's nice. I think it's really nice. But again, this particular one is like a good moisturizer. Good moisturizer would give the vibe this gave in my humble opinion. But I did. I did like it. But yeah, this one here from Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in Quench 3 mils hydrating primer. This one is very like a moisturizer that you can get in Boots in Ireland, a cheap moisturizer. I can't think of the name of it, but I will insert it down below for those who are interested in. But it, it is extremely nice. It's clear in color and it was extremely hydrating. It just really reminded me of that really nice moisturizer that I can get. One thing I really liked about this is it dried in pretty quickly. But yeah, that's that one. And then uh, these two. And I count this as five because that's how it was on my spreadsheet. This one is from Elaine. It is a pore filling primer. It had a pink color. Stellar. Uh, brilliant 
primer base detente. Seven mils, it was a pore filling primer. Again, it was nice. It wasn't too harsh. It wasn't silicone-y, uh, too silicone-y or anything like that. It was nice. But right now, I, I'm not really wearing pore filling ones. And my oldest primer is a pore filling one. Simply because I feel like I don't need them filled because I'm not got really going anywhere. But it was nice. And then finally, this is the one I'm most grateful that I got to try. And I thank uh, Courtney for uh, giving me that opportunity because I am so glad I didn't buy this in the full size because I didn't like it. This is the Hourglass, this is the Hourglass Veil uh, Mineral Primer. And I have combination oily skin and this thing felt like I was scraping a blackboard when I was putting it on my face. It's like, ur, 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 I can't even describe it. And it had a blue sheen to my face. I just didn't like it. Just didn't like it. And it was something I was so delighted about because I would have been fuming if I paid the full price for that, wouldn't I? Just fuming. This one will be quick for facial sprays. I just finished the one and it's because I didn't really buy any this year because again, I'm at home, so I didn't see any point. So I only have two left in my collection and I'm just using them organically and chilling because there's no point because they're not going anywhere. But this is the Liqueur Healthy Glow Overnight Relaxing Facial Spritz. Uh, I bought this in Aldi and I really, really like it. And Ruth kindly sent me hers as well. It's only something like two euros. And I have since put water in the bottle, so I reuse this bottle. But yeah, just the one facial spray. For eye primers, I only finished one as well. This is the Anastasia Eye Primer. Uh, there's only two mils in this. And I use another product as an eye primer, but I'll show you later because it technically falls into a different category. But here we are with this. Oh my God, this took me quite a while. When did I finish it? June. So six months is what it actually ended up taking me. And I kind of liked it, to be honest. It had a yellowy tinge to it. I wonder will anything come out? No. No, it's, it is empty. It had a, a really light yellow tinge to it. So it did like color your lid. It's just that it, it is quite a light shade. So if you have any bit of color or pigment to your skin that isn't ghostly, I find there was a stark difference in the summer. But I'm putting eyeshadow over. I do personally prefer something that uh, cancels out veins, but I just noticed that with this. It did increase the longevity of my eyeshadow, so I liked it. For brows, I finished two products. I don't think I finished it. Yeah, this Benefit Cabrow in the shade two, it took me just shy of three years to finish it. I'm so glad that the thing is empty. I finished one of these in the past and it took me two years the last time. So I've been planning one of these technically for five years. So I have enough now. They are expensive, but they do last a long time. I use this until I can't use it any longer because it is handy when you're, because I was prior to the pandemic doing my makeup at my desk in work before work. So I'm happy it's finished. It is a drier formula and it's gone. This one I got from Elaine, the Animal Brow Fiber Gel in the shade Light Medium. And I like this. There's still a bit of product on the thing. That, if you can see, they're not my brow hairs. They're the, the fibers. I liked this product. I really did enjoy this product. Okay, for mascaras, I finished three. I generally finish three in a year between full size and like travel slash mini. I finished another Soap and Glory, keeping the yearly Soap and Glory mascara finishing running. This one out of the last three or four, I've liked more for some reason. Opened initially was really, really wet and about a month in is when it started to get really, really voluming, which is really good. I was really surprised by it. I put a picture on my Instagram and everything because it was very good. And for, this one is from Aldi. It's a dupe of the Benefit one and it was only like six euros and it was excellent. If I forgot to say this open glory is a natural bristle brush. This one is plastic and I like that. Not everyone does, but I do. It was only six euros ish and I think it's excellent. And if you could get it again, I would. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I got this particular one from Elaine. Thank you. This is a lash brag. I really liked this. I use mascaras until they don't perform anymore. They kind of dry up. That's how long I, I don't follow any rule. I just keep using it until it doesn't really work anymore. And I like this one as well. My favorite one is still the Ilia, but this came into second place. So there's that. For highlighters, I only finished one actual highlighter this year, and this is a mini size, but it took me ages. It is Champagne Pop from Becca, 1.15 grams. I think it's beautiful. It's not intense. I don't really want an intense highlighter anymore, or at least right for at the moment. I don't know if you can see it in there. It gives a champagne glow to the skin. I like that it's thinner versus thick, and I really like this. I bought this in the full size when I found out that they were closing down. And I'm happy that I did. 
Then for blushes, I didn't finish any. I put, I panned loads. I got pan in two or three, um, but I didn't finish any this year. It's the first year in a good few years that I didn't. Lips, let me just double check that I, it is all of this. So lip gloss, it says I finished three. Yes. I finished three lip glosses, so we have this sexy mother pucker from Soap and Glory. This one's in the shade Plums Up, and I got it for Christmas off my family. Um, I really like this gloss. These are quite a pigmented gloss. They're kind of similar to the Buxom ones. The stopper is out. It takes quite a while to finish. They are sticky. It's hard to find a gloss that kind of isn't, but this one I really enjoyed. I have one more of these, not in the same shade, but one more of these lip glosses. I do like them. Then this lip oil is from Ciate London. I got this in the Ciate Advent Calendar last Christmas. So this is actually not even old. This is five mils. It is really sticky though, and it used to seep out of the lid. I liked what it looked like on my lips. It just was messy, if you get me. There was five mils. And then this one here is from Buxton, and I got this from Elaine. This is Dolly. I don't know. I took the stopper out. I don't know how I managed that. But I really like this. This is incredibly pigmented. I didn't really need to wear lipstick under it because it provided so much pigment. Um, and that's it. And I don't think I finished any lipsticks this year. Let me just check. I did. I finished one lipstick and this one took me two years. This is the Colourpop Lippy Stick in Girl Gang. It's a matte shade. And I use it as a lipstick and as a cream bronzer. Can you see in there? There's no twisting it up. Like that is it up. I dug in and I finished every single bit of it. It is a very, very dark brown shade. I don't know how it took me so long. Before the pandemic, my strongest panning category was lips because I used so much of it. But since we're wearing masks since this pandemic started and it has never stopped in where I am. So the, there's almost not much of a point. I'm never visible. But yeah, I finished one lipstick and this particular one took me nearly two years to finish. And I finished one lip balm. Just the one. I didn't dig into it. I dug a little bit down and then I was like, oh, couldn't be bothered. I thought I finished another one, but I don't have it registered here. Let me just check. Yeah, no, one lip balm and I finished it in September. For bronzers, bronzers is next. I finished eight. This never happens. I finished eight. We finished one cream. This is the 17 cream bronzer and it was discontinued and I got it in boots and I really liked it. And I finished two of these. This is my second one. I really liked this cream bronzer. It was so easy to blend. It was so affordable and it made me, when I was using this, I always wondered, what was the point in purchasing an expensive one when these affordable ones performed literally so well? It was such a nice colour and it doesn't say on, on it what shade it was. There was 8.5 grams in it and it's gone. I'm glad it's gone because it's old and discontinued, but I liked it. Second bronzer I finished was from this Dulce de Leche contouring duo. It was this side, I think, was the bronzer. It was 12.5 grams in the whole palette, so I imagine it was half that. So 6.25-ish. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how. But I actually really like this. And I don't know what I'd buy this again. But part of me, I'm not against buying it again because I did like it. I was using it to repress things afterwards. But now it's really no good for that because the lid is broke. So it won't protect the products I repress in here. And then six of them. Finally, this was in my year-long empties last year because I had finished two from this palette. But I finished the other six. I frankened three together. The shades that didn't work. These were like highlightery, shimmery shades. I frankened them and finished them. Six of them. So this whole Makeup Revolution palette, bronzer palette, is now finished. And I enjoyed every single shade in here. Particu particularly because I frankened the ones that didn't work into the ones that did work. And I loved it. I, I like the Makeup Revolution uh, complexion products that I've tried. All of them that I've tried. And I've panned a lot of them now. And finally, this palette is now empty. I got this from Pork, I think in 2017, Christmas. And I think that this palette is a lovely one. Okay, and then nails, I think, and then eyes. I was unsure whether to put this in, but since I spend money on nails out of my makeup budget, this is this is how I logic made it logical. But then now I do gel as well. So I don't know if, I, I think I'll just do regular nails in here going forward, I'm not sure. But I finished this nail polish remover. There's just that. It wasn't expensive. It did the job. And then I finished a base coat and a top coat. And the reason why I wanted to include these is because these also were Christmas advent calendar from Ciate. And I liked them. I like them. I think Ciate is nice. I think the, the the size of the brush. That's always when I'm looking things up. I want to know the story with the brush that people are using. I'm using gel most of the time now, but my nails are busted at the moment. So this is the size of the wand. I prefer, and this is my 
thumb. Apparently I have quite narrow nail beds. So it's maybe not the easiest to tell what my nail bed the thickness, but I like this. So this is the base coat and the top coat I finished. And then I finished one regular polish and this was the Rimmel um, 60 second super shine in Lose Your Lingerie, Lose Your, however you pronounce it. And this is the size of this brush. I think it was only okay, this particular one, only okay. Did the job though. First coat streaky, so always two to three coats. So that's the story with those. And then finally, the eye product category. I think, let me just, I'll count up how many I finished, but I did finish a lot here. So first things first, I finished this Stila Glitter and Glow in Sunset Cove. It started to dry up. This is actually really, really nice, but it stops me from buying these unless my collection is tiny. For me, there's no point because this thing is going to dry up. I ha good thing I focused on it. It is really nice. I have a shade in powder form that's really similar to it though. But that's one. Then I finished this uh, color tattoo. This one took me 13 months, I think. Um, and this is the Maybelline color tattoo. Maybe it's Maybelline in creme de nude. And it's empty and it took ages. And I was using it kind of as an eye primer and now I don't want to use them as primers anymore. But it took a very, very long time and it was just a cream shade. And it's it's nice, but I absolutely don't miss it. I don't miss it. That's two. Then I finished these two matte cream singles from Makeup Revolution. It brings me to four. These two shades um, were Makeup Geek, Voltage and I'm Peachless. And I used them as eyeshadows in 2020 until I hit pan and in 2021 I used them as highlighters. Um, one was, I repressed stuff into it since, since one was a cool tone pink, I'm peachless, which I suppose it should be peach, but whatever. And this one here, Voltage, was like the gold to green shift. They were both duo chromes for Makeup Geek. For Makeup Geek. So now where are we at? We're at one, two, three, four, five, six. And then my modern renaissance. Oh, yes. And then my subculture does three from here. There's three from here and I kind of repressed into here what's left. So what's that? 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23. Oh my God. I am so delighted. So my totals for the year, my goal was 50. I finished 55 products. And that added up to 420 euros and seven cent. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so happy about that. I didn't finish a blush, which is kind of disappointing. But that's the only goal I didn't hit. I hit all the other goals, thank God. I finished one of every category. I don't think I finished an eyeliner, but one of my base categories that I, I want to finish. So that is my empties for the year of 2021. And um, after I edit the video, I'm going to get rid of, dispose of everything and start this process again for next year. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.